Well, I've just had a telephone call from Mr. Brown. He says he will be along later. Apparently, he is tied up at his flat. Oh, blimey. Should he not be going to untie him? <laughs> I was speaking metaphorically. It is better you speak English. <laughs> Now, Mr. Brown may put up with your stupid remarks, but I assure you, you will find me a very different kettle of fish. Excuse me, please. What is mean kettle of fish? You'll find out. Now, until Mr. Brown arrives, I intend to find out what sort of progress you are making. You, how are you doing? Bochanot. How are you doing? Very pleased, thank you. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> About your English. Bochanot. Your English. No, no, no. Hungarian. <laughs> your purpose. No, no, look. Hungarian. Sit down. Thank you. You. Give me the present perfect of the verb to move. You know it not? Well, of course I know it. Oh, good. Then you can me tell? It is not my place to tell you anything. How can we learn if you tell us not? You. Ah, si, signora. What is a comma? Por favor. What is a comma? Comma? Ah, comma. Comma is when you are unconscious. That is a coma. A comma is a punctuation mark. Ah, sorry. I don't think Mr. Brown is teaching you anything. Master G's teach us very lots English. When I am arrived, not one body is understand me. Now, everybody is understand everything I am speak. I see. Well, in that case, if someone were to stop you in the street and ask you the time, what would you say? Ji, meri kari panch min tak gete hun pure pone atfa jene. That wouldn't help them. Oh, yes. In my street is all Indian peoples. 